Hello and welcome to the Daily Bible Podcast. My name is William Hemsworth. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Well, we just finished what uh, we just finished Holy Week, and I hope you enjoyed the readings that I did on Friday and Sunday, which was, of course, Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Uh, just something to change it up. On Saturday, in there, we had started. We were still in Matthew chapter 8. We read verses 23 and 24 and discussed those for a moment. And today we're continuing on in Matthew chapter 8. We're going to be looking at verses 25 through 27 today. All right, so Matthew chapter 8, verses 25 through 27 say, And they went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, you of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and they were, and there was a dead calm. They were amazed, saying, What sort of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? So a couple days ago, we went over verses 23 through 24, and here's the scene. You know, the disciples are, the, the Je- Jesus and the disciples are in a boat. Jesus is asleep, and a, and a, a huge storm comes, and the disciples are terrified. Disciples are absolutely terrified. However, in these passages, this is where Jesus revi- reveals his divine, his, reveals his authority over creation. And what's interesting is that there's a lot of, there's a few Old Testament parallels in these what, what, six verses here. So Jesus, the, the calming of the storm kind of parallels the experience in, in the Old Testament book of Jonah. So, both set sail on a boat, both are caught in a storm at sea, both were asleep, both were accompanied by frightened and terrified sailors, both groups of sailors, those with Jonah and the disciples with Jesus, call upon the Lord to deliver them. And both Jonah and Jesus are instrumental in calming the storm. Of course, Jonah was thrown overboard and then the sea was calm. And Jesus exercises his authority as creator of everything to calm the storm. And both sailors, those with Jonah and the disciples of Jesus, marvel at the outcome. Now, this isn't the this this isn't the only time in the Gospel of Matthew where Jonah is alluded to. You know, Jesus' identity, identity as a new Jonah is mentioned in Matthew chapter 12, verses 39 through 41, and Matthew chapter 16, verse 4 as well. Now, in his homily, the early church father, St. John Christostom, in his homily on Matthew chapter 28, also discusses this theme of Jesus being the new Jonah. But he also... So it's not just some it's it's something that has been taught. It's not something that's new that I'm making up. That's kind of the point I'm trying to get across. This is something that Matthew writes in his gospel. It's something that the church fathers also discussed as well. But the the idea of the boat being tossed by the sea is kind of emblematic of the Christian life in a way. You know, as Christians, we're going to go through hard times. There will be struggles. There will be struggles. However, God's people are awakened by spiritual assaults. We become aware during these struggles and we're reminded of our helplessness and our dependence on Christ. So it's important to call upon Christ for our salvation and for our peace. And it's that presence of Christ, that presence of Christ that assures our deliverance And it helps us with unwavering faith because we experience the calm, the peace, the goodness of Christ. So it's natural. We're not guaranteed as Christians a life free of struggle. But focus on Christ. He'll lead us through the storm into the calm. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may be a little ways down the road. But he will remain faithful. 
God bless you all. Thank you for listening to this edition of the Daily Bible Podcast. If you enjoy the show, please rate it. Please share it. And as always, if there's any questions, please email me. Any prayer requests as well. Hopewithin18 at gmail.com. God bless you guys. Have a great day.